Hello, hello, this is Three Things You Need to Know, and today we're gonna to talk about the three things you need to know about moving up. To move up means to sell the house you have to buy another. I am Shelley Zavitz, licensed realtor in Portland, Oregon for Dwell Realty, and I'm here with Tammy Wittren of Guild Mortgage. Good morning and welcome. Good morning, Shelley. Good to see you again. Nice to see you too. Okay, you're gonna you're thinking, I'm gonna sell my house. And I'm going to buy something because, you know, something's not working with my house anymore and I need to buy something else. The first thing you should do is call your lender. How come? Yes, please call your lender. It is imperative you call your lender. And let me quickly explain why. Um, you want to qualify for your existing house payment, the new house payment, and maybe some sort of bridge financing that we're going to help you uh, acquire. So most people can't qualify for all three of those payments. So it's important you talk to your loan officer to really help you. Don't go out and get a home equity line of credit because your friends told you to, because it may not work. So I beg you, first and foremost, come to your lender first. We have a bag of tools to help you buy without selling. Um, and it really predicates on your income and assets, et cetera. So please do that. We have all the tools to help you navigate this process. Right. And everybody's situation is different. So, oh you know, if you're taking advice from somebody who did something, but you don't have the same scenario <laughs> as them, that's not, that's not a good decision. There you go. And everyone has advice for you. Yeah, <laughs> I do too. I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Point number two is it's kind of scary. Cause you're like, okay, I'm going to sell my house. I'm going to buy another one. But like, how do those timelines work? Yep. Right. So Shelly, I have to just jump in. Your realtor, most important person to help you navigate this part of the process. They're, they, this is what they do. They have been training like an Olympic athlete to <laughs> help you through this, right? And I'm telling you, they understand the market better than anyone. They understand time on the market. They're going to be able to coach you through whether a contingent offer is going to work, whether it isn't or isn't. My job is to give you the options. Shelly's job is to get your offer accepted and to tell you if any of the stuff I just gave you is going to work, right? That's right. Well, I would say, you know, coming out of the Great Recession, I mean, we've been training for this pandemic for years now, yeah. like going on a decade where, yes. especially in Portland, it's not unheard of that you would not have contingent offers accepted, that you would be going well over list price, that people are coming in waiving contingencies, waiving appraisals. Like it, it's kind of been nuts for a while. Yes. Years. But, Shelley, but I, years. I have never not found somebody a house. Because Never I know really. what I'm doing, right? And I will tell you too, in my business, you know, we do in the lending side, we do a lot more transactions than the realtor does, right? I, I bank less, et cetera. But I have never, ever had someone who has wanted to sell a house and buy a new one that hasn't found a dream house and isn't elated at the end of the process. Right. Yeah. And besides, probably the reason that you want to sell is because there's been a lifestyle change. Something has happened that's telling you, I need more house, I need less house, I need this certain room or I don't, you know, and, and it's okay to feel fear about that, which actually takes us to point number three. There's a lot of fear around, okay, I'm going to sell my house and then I'm going to try and buy in a market that's a seller's market, I'm just like, yeah. what do I do? Right. So let's talk yeah. about that. Let's talk about, okay, I'm going to sell my house and I'm going to probably have to offer way above list price yeah. in the numbers, Tammy. Talk about in right now versus a 30 year loan. What does that really mean for somebody? Okay. Point number one, just the differential in interest rate, say 2.75 today, 30 year fixed. $400,000 loan is a payment of about 2024 bucks. When rates normalize, we're expecting in the next couple of years for rates to end, you know, kind of float in that 5% range. That same $400,000 payment, just principal and interest, becomes about 2425. That's a $400 a month difference in just interest alone. That's a car payment. That's saving right. for a holiday. That's somebody really? Tuition right there. Five years, it's 35000 ish. Wow. So I'm just saying, you may overpay. For every 10000 you increase in sales price, it's about $50 in payment. 
for every quarter percent rise in rate, just principal and interest right now, it's about 50 bucks. So I would tell you, remember this fundamental. You're buying real estate and you want to own a home so you're not paying your landlord anymore, right? And they're not getting rich off you. You're also taking on a mortgage to pay it off. And I think people get so caught up in this. What if the market drops a little bit? What if it changes? It is going to. That's part of it. But the truth is you're paying this mortgage, this loan off, so you retire without a payment. Right. And what we're looking at right now with low interest rates is that you can borrow money for cheap. Super cheap. Later on, you won't be able to. Right. Yeah. Shell, um, the the one thing I also wanted to touch on real quick is we had talked about the Olympics of this market. (laughs) So people are I mean, if you're in the lower end, you're writing like 12 plus offers. That's normal. Get your head around it. If you're in that middle price range, you're writing five to eight offers. This is normal. You're going to get rejected. Get your rejection hat on. Get used to it. But in the end, we're going to get you in the house you want. And we're going to find the financing that makes sense. That third point that I was going to make um, was about we have bridge financing. We can do a loan here at Guild on your current house that will bridge you the down payment. We have other vehicles with home equity lines of credit. We'll talk to people about a 401k loan, a IRA district. We have options that will walk you through. So if you feel hopeless and helpless and this doesn't make sense, call your lender first. Then you're going to you're going to roll you back to your realtor to get the plan together. Right. No, it makes tons of sense. I mean, there's there's no apples to apples comparison. Everybody's finances is so different and you yes. need somebody to really look in and say, "Okay, this is the best thing for you." And and it's really important that you source that information like just finding it online and doing a Google search <laughs> isn't a thing. That's not, no, a, and, that's not a good decision. And going out and getting <laughs> a bunch of loans to bridge your, your buying power doesn't help because it can eat up your buying power. There are many people I've had that went to the effort, expense, and energy to get this home equity line established. And then we need them to close it because they don't qualify. Uh, right. Yes. yes. All right. Well, that was wonderful information. Thank you so much for coming again. We'll see you next week. For three things you need to know. All right. Bye. Bye.